welcome to cricket happenings dear friends and subscribers this is your host Ram uh, coming a bit late on this uh, cricket show today uh, with the news that Bangladesh are the ones who have entered the Asia Cup 2018 finals where they would be clashing against India on Friday after defeating Pakistan in a virtual semi-final today by 37 runs it was a fine effort from, in fact, the Bangladeshis were struggling initially with Junaid Khan uh, picking up wickets um, rapidly. Uh, but it was all about Mushfiqur Rahim who kept his school, showed, brought all his experience to the fore. In fact, Bangladesh, I would say, were really, really crippled uh, with no Tami Mikbal. Shakib Al Hassan was out of the Asia Cup with that injury. It got aggravated after playing and... Uh, and also to uh, so this was the situation so definitely Mushfiqur Rahim was the one uh, who came to the party for Bangladesh uh, by compiling a truly deserved century but unfortunately he was out for 99 uh, and he took the Bangladesh score to 239 a respectable score at that and then it was the time for Mustafizur Rahman who has not been uh, been really uh, been the real impact bowler that Bangladesh wanted to be but today he brought everything to the fore as his cutters started really disturbing the Pakistani batsmen and he picked up four wickets and uh, Pakistan uh, were um, defeated by 37 runs and this was a really really a remarkable victory by Bangladesh especially considering that there was no Tami Mikbal and Shakib Lassan, one of the pillars of the uh, uh, Mushfiqur Rahim, also a pillar, but uh, definitely uh, it was they were crippled. But nevertheless, congratulations, and also um, I would say they did a marvelous job. Uh, so, so I'll be talking about that match, and the Sri Lankan team has been selected uh, for, as you know, England will be touring Sri Lanka. They have packed it with five spinners, thus giving an indication that to for for to what to expect uh, from this pitch, because England would know that if Sri Lankan team has been packed with spinners, it definitely means that they are going to be encountering dry tracks and spinning tracks at that, and uh, uh, they were uh, already you know South Africa and Australia have already been. Uh, given a good lesson by Sri Lanka on Sri Lankan pitches and uh, will it be the turn for England to actually go and bite the dust of the Sri Lankan pitches one does not know but uh, the, the English skills the England batsman skills will definitely have to come to the fore for sure but yes now the focus will be on the Asia Cup as, as we are talking about the final match that happened in the Super 4 the sixth match was played between Bangladesh and Pakistan uh, in the Asia Cup in Dubai. Now, Bangladesh were the ones who won the toss and they had no hesitation uh, in electing to bat first. So, Mohamed Amir, who has been uh, wicketless throughout this Asia Cup, uh, gave way to Junaid Khan finally. And Junaid Khan, let me tell you, he was the one who started uh, breaking the back of the Bangladeshi uh, team when he picked up wickets pretty quickly. He was the one who actually uh, provided, uh, the breakthrough was actually provided by Junaid Khan. Soumya Sarkar uh, was the first to go. Uh, he was, uh, he was got, he came into the team, but he left for a duck. He got a ball, which, um, which was short ball, and uh, he, was, uh, he tried to pull the ball, and he was gone for a duck. That was Junaid Khan. The next wicket to go uh, was uh, Litton Das. He was, uh, no, not written thus. The next wicket to go was uh, Mominul Haq. Uh, and this time, it was once again a left-arm pace bowler. But this time, it was the young 20-year-old Shaheen, 18-year-old Shah, Shaheen Shah Fridi. Uh, he really bowled a beauty of a ball, uh, which actually pitched outside the off stump and uh, nipped back in. And before Mominul could bring his bat down, it was all over. The left-arm quickie had already hit the timber of Mominul Haq. So Mominul Haq gone, bowled Shahin Shah Afridi fire four balls with one four and then Junaid Khan once again struck. Uh, this time going round the wicket, pitching on the off stump and the ball 
uh, took the uh, uh, went past Lytton thus uh, was uh, probably trying to play at it but the ball actually um, jagged back and went on to hit the top of the off stump and uh, with Lytton thus uh, you know prodding uh, in defense Lytton thus was gone six of 16 balls and the Street and the Bangladesh were really struggling at 12 for three uh, with the left arm uh, pace bowlers from Pakistan doing the damage and then we had two new batsmen in the crease one was the experienced Mushfiqur Rahim at the other end was Mohammed Mithun so Mushfiqur Rahim definitely had a job to do uh, he had to uh, nurture Mohammed Mithun and he also had to make sure that he kept his wicket intact and Mushfiqur Rahim and Mohammed Mithun slowly started uh, they, they started nurturing the innings they were not in any hurry and uh, they knew that uh, they had to really play a very good game to first get Bangladesh out of a big hole that they were in and they did it with a partnership of 144 runs uh, for the fourth wicket with the contribution from Mohammed Mithun getting his second 50 of his uh, ODI career he was out for 60 of 84 that was four fours and Mushfiqur Rahim and uh, Mohammed the, the stand was broken by Hassan Ali who actually caught and bowled Mohammed Mithun for 60 uh, and um, but Imrul Case uh, was uh, very smartly L um, taken LBW by Sharab Khan for 9 of 10 balls with 1-4. Mahmudullah contributed 25 before Junaid Khan came back for his second spell and sent back Mahmudullah and Mehdi Hassan Miraz on their way. Mahmudullah was bowled by Junaid Khan for 25 of 31 balls with 1-4. Mehdi Hassan Miraz was out for 12 to Junaid Khan as well. And, uh, and suddenly, once again, but the only thing was that Mushfiqur Rahim, uh, very unfortunately, after playing a very very good game here uh, in fact had to be uh, was was um, a victim of the balling of Shahin Shah Afridi caught behind for 99 of 116 balls 9 fourth and one really felt sorry for Mushfiqur Rahim that he could not get to his 7th ODI century but he sacrificed um, his wicket uh, for the team one could say uh, in the 42nd over and then Masri Mutas was out for 13 Rubilus and run out 1 239 all out uh, a respectable total by Bangladesh but one knew with the Bangladesh with the Pakistan batting might uh, 239 might still not be enough for Pakistan for for, Bang for Bangladesh um, uh, so Junaid Khan uh, what a tremendous balling uh, on his comeback uh, and he was dropped uh, Ami, Muhammad Ami was dropped from the squad and Junaid Khan came in and he, he was a really really a pot of gold today nine overs one maiden 19 runs and four wickets uh shahin shah freedy 10 overs on maiden 247 hassan ali um, unfortunately i have to say in this um, asia cup hassan ali has not really looked the picture that one has known him to be in the champions trophy uh, and he was really really a part of the big success of pakistan 9.5 overs no maiden 260 Mohammad Nawaz here was none for 39, Shahid Malik two for 14, and Sharab Khan 10 hours no one for 52. Now Pakistan uh, had to get 240 runs uh, from their 50 overs, and let's look at what happened. Now Pakistan too suffered the same uh, same problems that Bangladesh had. The only difference being that Pakistan were 18 for three uh, compared to uh, Bangladesh who were 12 for three. So the first wicket to go. Now again, as you know, Mehdi Hassan Miraz, the right arm off spinner, uh, was uh, introduced. He was the one who was given the uh, new cherry and he actually uh, gave them a very, very quick breakthrough when Fakhar Zaman, who has been going through the horrors in this particular Asia Cup, he got a ball which was full and wide outside the off stump and Fakhar Zaman wanted to hit it through the mid-on region. Uh, but... Um, but he hit it in the air and it was all over. It was uh, Rubel Hussein who took a very good catch from thought and that was the end, um, uh, you know, um, that was the end of Fakhar Zaman. Fakhar Zaman caught Rubel Hussein bowled Mary Hussain Miraz for one of four balls. That was wicket number one. The next to go, uh, Mustafizu Rahman uh, was the other one who was bowling at the other end and I thought that was a very good um, move on the part of Mashrav Mutaza not bringing himself in but telling Mustafa um, Rahman to bowl and Mustafa Rahman today definitely showed what a capable baller he was 
as uh, he got a ball uh, to Barbara Azam on the middle and leg stump and the ball uh, skidded through and Barbara, Barbara Azam was trying to put a defensive blade onto that but the ball stayed low and it was all over is out LBW to Mustafa Zul Rahim for Rahman for one of three balls score red three for two and then to complicate matters Sarfraz Ahmed the captain who actually promoted himself in the batting order ahead of Shoaib Malik uh, was gone was a goner and again the, the bowler was none other than Mustafa Zul Rahman uh, this was a ball very well bowled by Mustafa Zul Rahman uh, as you know Mustafa Zul Rahman is someone who uh, who relies on bowling good cutters and that's what he precisely did he lured um, Sarfraz Ahmed by bowling a ball fully outside the off stump and it was still uh, going further away from him and Sarfraz uh, Ahmed did the cardinal error of driving away from his body and it was all over the ball had taken the edge and the keeper uh, Mushfiq Rahim gobbled up the catch and Sarfraz Ahmed was gone 10 of 7 balls with 2 fours and as I said uh, the Pakistanis were in deep trouble at 18 for 3 but after that uh, the resurrection job uh, was done by Imamul Haq uh, along with uh, Shoaib Malik the experienced uh, batsman and both slowly they had to really bite their time at the crease and uh, they were not taking any risks and they had to really really work hard for it because the Bangladeshi bowling was very sharp uh, as uh, the score went on and Shoaib Malik uh, gave good company that Imam ul Haq is the, was the one who was standing firm at the other end but then Shoaib Malik uh, was after making 30 runs of 51 balls with two fours uh, was a victim now this was a real screamer of a catch uh, which was taken by Mashrav and Murtaza now Rabel Hussein was the baller and this was a ball which was uh, full on the middle stump and uh, Shoaib Malik was trying to hit it over the mid-wicket region but uh, Mashrav and Murtaza the captain showing great commitment and determination took a wonderful catch and it was absolutely a stunning catch by Mashrafi Murtaza to send back Shoaib Malik and that was a big wicket because Shoaib Malik is someone uh, who has a lot of experience and uh, one allows him to stay at the crease uh, he could have gone the distance but fortunately the screamer of a catch sent Shoaib Malik on his way to the pavilion so he was gone for 30 and then there was a promotion in the batting order um, in fact Sharab Khan was promoted in the batting order but it definitely did not help matters at all as uh, he, was, he, he, was, he was really really pottering around he was not able to get the runs at all for what he was sent to lift up the tempo with the score on 85 for 4 and it was a sort of a, uh, I would say a really flop show as Sharab Khan struggled for runs uh, as uh, the Bangladeshi batsman really bottled him up as he could eke out only four runs after consuming 24 balls and Soumya Sarkar was the one who brought out the frustration stroke from um, Sharab Khan when Sharab Khan uh, being kept quiet tried to pull a ball and he top edged it and that was the the first ODI wicket for, for Soumya Sarkar in his career with his uh, military medium pace so he was gone for four but um, Imam ul Haq was there so definitely uh, Pakistan had hope Asif Ali came in Asif Ali well he, he made 31 of 47 balls with three fours and but then Mehdi Hassan Miraz who came back uh, per, 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 took this wicket but again it was very good uh, glove work done by Litton Das behind the wickets uh, the, the ball was very well flighted outside the off stump and there was a bit of a drift and um, um, Asif came forward uh, and it was all over uh, his, his uh, back leg was lifted and uh, Lytton actually uh, um, stumped him uh, magnificently and now Bangladesh were once again getting into the game as the score read 165-6 uh, with Asif Ali gone in the 40th over but still there was some work to be done uh, they still had another 60 odd run still to get but as far as Imam ul Haq was there in the crease the hope was there but Mustafa Zul Rahman quashed up all the hopes that they had as he came back for his second spell and but before that Imam ul Haq was a victim uh, of Mahmudullah now Imam ul Haq uh, after once Hassan Ali came in Imam ul Haq took the onus 
of trying to hit the ball. Uh, in fact, uh, he got a ball uh, from Mahmudullah, which was wide outside the off stump. Imam was halfway down the wicket uh, to actually uh, really send the ball uh, over the fence. But uh, he was totally, totally deceived uh, by a very clever delivery from Mahmudullah. It was an arm ball which went in straight and was all over. Litton Das behind the stumps had stumped him and off went the hopes of Pakistan with Imamul Haq gone. Stump Litton Das, bold Mahmudullah for 83 of 105 balls with two fours and one six. I thought he played a, a very, uh, he played very well, but uh, unfortunately, uh, the thing was that uh, the target was uh, too many uh, to really handle and when Imamul Haq went definitely uh, the writing was on the wall but they still had hope because they had Mohammed Nawaz and Hassan Ali in the middle and both are capable batsmen as you know bo both are capable of batting but Mustafa Zur Rahman crashed all the hopes of Pakistan when he picked up the wicket of uh, Mohammed Nawaz first for 8 of 19 balls and Hassan Ali was sent back into the pavilion, uh, caught by Mashraf e as um, he tried to swing the ball onto the on side. Uh, and the uh, sky was taken by Mashraf e uh, to make the score 181 for 8. And after that, it was left to Shine Shah Freedi, uh, who hit a 6 by and Junaid Khan. But again, it was always going to be difficult once Hassan Ali and Mohammed Nawaz were gone, and it was all over. Uh, the Pakistanis were restricted to 202 for 9 with some brilliant bowling from the Bangladeshi bowlers. One thought Shain Shah Fridi was not out on 14 of 20, uh, one six Junaid Khan not out on 3. Thus, Bangladesh reaching the finals of the Asia Cup 2018 to have this final meeting with India on Friday. And uh, what a match that is going to be. And uh, definitely, uh, uh, when the Asia Cup started, uh, one would have definitely said that. It would have been an uh, I had predicted an India Pakistan final, but uh, well, it's no longer the case. It's an India Bangladesh final. Madhya Sen Miraj, splendid bowling. Look at his bowling figures 10 hours, 1 million, 28 runs, and 2 wickets. Splendid bowling by him. Musaf Rahman, the successful wicket taker 10 hours, 2 maidens, 43 runs, and 4 wickets. And uh, this was what one was expecting from Mustaf uh, And finally, it came on the right day. Mashrafe Matosa, 7 hours, 1 minute, and 1 for 33. Rubele Sen 8 hours, 1 for 38. Mehmudullah, 10 hours, 1 for 38. Did a good job. Got an important wicket of Imam ul Haq. Samia Sarkar, 5 hours, 1 for 3. I thought all the Bangladeshi ballers who were bowled did a good job. And hats off to Mushfiqo Rahim for carving that uh, very, very uh, important 99 uh, to give Bangladesh a good chance of victory. And there, the, there comes the victory. And I think Bangladesh definitely... Uh, were rewarded for their hard work today and uh, so the finals Asia Cup finals uh, is on Friday uh, between India and Bangladesh so Pakistan definitely uh, would, would not like to remember this Asia Cup they had a very tough time and uh, they were sent on their way back home by Bangladesh today so now the next news that I'm going to talk about uh, in only on a very very brief manner as you know, England are going to be touring Sri Lanka and uh, Sri Lanka have packed their uh, team uh, with five spinners. So just giving an indication uh, as to what to expect for England when they come there. And I'm sure it's going to be dry tracks with uh, dry and spinning tracks. Uh, and uh, probably the same fate awaits England uh, as what uh, happened to Australia and South Africa really struggled and struggled and struggled. So Sri Lanka... Uh, have uh, got a lot of, in fact, they have brought Kaushal Silva back. I'm very happy to see that because I always believe that Kaushal Silva is totally test match material and his technique is exemplary in test matches. So Kaushal Silva comes back into the team and uh, Angelo Matthews is there in the team. Chandimal will lead the team. They have Dananjadi Silva, Roshan Silva, Dilruan Pereira, Rangana Herit, the spinners, if you look at it, they have Rangana Herit, Malinda Pushpakumara, the left arm spinner. Akila Dhananjaya, Surunga Lakmal, Kasun Rajita, Lakshan Sandakan, the other spinner, and Lairu Kumara. So, and also Kushal Mendes, Nirosh, and Dikwala. So, this is the team composition. So, I don't have much time to really dwell on. It's about time for me to move on right now from here uh, to and bid you all a very good night by promising you that I'll be on my next great broadcast tomorrow. Till such time, it's good night.